It's Nate again with GME Supply, and today we're going over everything relating to hard hats and helmets. Let's start with the basics. There are two types of helmets, type one and type two. Type 1 helmets are intended to reduce the impact of a blow from the top of the head. They're the most common found on a job site and they are most protective against dropped objects or tools. Type 2 helmets are intended to reduce forces from lateral impact coming from an off-center side or top of the head strike. This could be from a corner of an I-beam or a swinging structural element of a tower. The sides of a Type 2 helmet are typically lined with a high density foam or suspension. Now let's talk classification. There are three helmet classifications, E, G, and C. Each classification represents a specific threshold of protection from voltage. Let's start with Class E. Class E helmets are designed to reduce exposure to high voltage conductors and offer protection up to 20,000 volts. These helmets were formerly associated with the Class B rating and cannot be vented. Because of the level of voltage protection, Class E helmets also meet all Class G standards. Class G helmets are designed to reduce exposure to low voltage conductors and offer protection up to 2,200 volts. Class G helmets fit right in between Class E and Class C, and were formerly categorized as Class A. The third electrical class is Class C, which is considered conductive and provides no electrical protection. These helmets are typically vented, which improves breathability, but they only protect the wearer from impacts. Now let's talk ANSI standards. To qualify for an ANSI certification, all hard hats and helmets must have a legible label that identifies the standards that the hard hat is designed to meet. So, if your helmet is missing its label, it is no longer certified and needs to be replaced. Most hard hats and helmets have a five year service life, but the suspension should be changed every 12 months even if there's no visible damage. If your hard hat sustains an impact, it should be removed from service and replaced immediately. You should never modify your helmet suspension and it should always be made by the manufacturer to work with your specific helmet. As for adding a little of your own flair to your helmet, you should never paint or add chemicals because they can alter and damage the structure and reduce the protection provided. But pressure sensitive non-metal stickers or self-adhering tape are almost always acceptable on today's hard hats and helmets. As always, you should refer to the manufacturer's recommendations for your specific hard hat and for placement guidelines. So what's your preferred helmet type? Let us know in the comments below. We hope you liked this video over helmets and hard hats, and if you did, give us a like, hit subscribe, and check us out at gmesupply.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.